So this is the image I'm going to use. So this effect is going to work on layout, pixel and vector studio. So now let's select the shape tool. I'm going to select the rectangle tool. And now let's drag, create our rectangle. So here you can change the color of the rectangle. I'm going to leave it to white. And now let's select the artistic text tool, left click, left click and now type your text. Control A to select all text and now I'm going to change the font to Anton. I'm going to change the size to 300. So I'm going to increase to 400 and see. So here it is. Now let's select the move tool. And now we need to select the nature layer and the rectangle layer. So select the text layer and then hold the control key and then left click here on the rectangle. So here it is. We have them both selected and now right click select alignment and then select center and then right click select alignment and then select middle and now i'm just going to center them so here it is and now let's select the text layer change its layer mode to erase so i'm going to scroll down so here it is it's the last one and now as you can see it's erasing the rectangle and the image layer so now i just wanted to erase the rectangle so i'm just going to drag it inside the rectangle so left click here and then drag it so as you can see you can see the preview so here it is now as you can see it is inside so now if i select the text here let's say i'm going to select the artistic text tool now i can change it so here it is so Control a i'm going to change it back to nature and now if you select the whole layer this one here the group layer with the rectangle you can add styling so now let's click on the FX here. And now we can, for example, add the bevel and emboss. So we have like this, you can add outer shadow. Let's increase a little bit. I'm going to change the direction. So I think I'm going to leave it here. 